another 1v1 map. This one is a Dusty Depot 1v1 map where I recreated Dusty Depot and made it suitable for 1v1s. On some of my older 1v1 map videos, I've gotten some complaints on people not knowing what to do or saying that the tutorial isn't specific enough or it's too difficult. So for this one, I decided to make the video a little bit longer so that I can make sure that everybody knows what to do. I made this map in the block and the first thing I did was grab the Dusty Depot prefabs and throw them down so there was just a little bit of space in between them just like Dusty Depot on the real map. Next, you're going to want to grab the Dusty Depot and Diner Prop Gallery and the Dusty Depot and Diner Gallery and throw them down outside the block. Then grab this concrete floor and place it down all around the Dusty Depot buildings. You do kind of have to be careful though because in my case it was being very very buggy and randomly breaking so you might want to take your time during this and make sure you don't have to break any because that could break all of them in the process. Also, make sure you don't accidentally break any of the bottom parts of the depot buildings because if you do that, then it could potentially destroy the whole rest of the building because since these prefabs were just added into the game, they are a bit buggy and once they break, there's no way to really get them back. Next, grab Grass and Dirt Floor Gallery B and place it all around the concrete. Later on in the tutorial, I placed it all around the entire map. So you can do this now or later if you want, it doesn't really matter. But I will say, if you are on console and you select a big area like I do here, sometimes it'll make it lag a ton. So if you're on a good computer, then it won't really be a problem. But if you are on a console, it could take a long time for me to place it all around the map, which again I do later. It took me around 25 minutes. Grab this brick wall in this prefab and place it the way I do around the corners. To get the fences, you'll have to throw out the basketball court gallery. car gallery A so that you can get a truck in the front in the back of Dusty Depot. get it in the back I just used the select tool then I copied it and positioned it so that it was like the truck that is in the actual map
after that, I put down the rest of the walls that are in the back two corners. In order to make it so that there was a way to get up each depot building without having to build yourself, I put down these metal half stairs on each side of the depot buildings so that you can easily get up if you maybe fell down after a 1v1. There were some times where the last ramp didn't want to go down even though it was connected to a lot of things. So all you have to do is place down a floor, then place the ramp, and then just delete the floor and it'll stay. The ramps that I chose to 1v1 on are these metal ones with the railings and I placed them in the middle at the top of each depot building. To make the ramps look less lame I grabbed these colored corner pieces that correlate with each building and place them on the sides of each ramp. If these place backwards with the metal part on the inside, you have to use the mirror tool to flip it around. Then I grabbed the colored metal wall that also goes along with each building and placed it at the back of each ramp. Then you just do the same thing for each ramp using whichever color matches each building. Next, you're going to want to place down spawn pads next to each ramp. After that, I placed down item spawners and all the guns that I wanted in my map. For the settings of each item spawner, all I did was make sure that it's not visible in game and the respawn times are as fast as they can possibly be.
After setting up all the weapons, I deleted all the prefabs that I used with dynamite. Now that all the prefabs are gone, you can place down your grass, which is completely optional because it did take me a very long time to do since my Xbox was lagging so much while I did it. And this is the finished product. If you were interested in what settings I made, I thought I would just throw this clip in of me setting it all up. So if you want to copy this exactly, it'll be just like the map with the code is. Thank you guys for sticking to the end, I'll catch you in the next one.